Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. And Season 4 Thoughts. Okay, there is a lot to talk about in this season, so let's get right into it. Starting with the result of the curse of a diva who led to a bit of a cast change, and now we have Rose McGowan instead of Shannon Doherty. Paige. It's a bit divided what you know the opinion of Paige, but I think it it's worth noting that they did the smart thing. They did not give us Prue 2.0, they gave us a new character. It is a younger sister shifting the balance, making Piper the new older sister, and putting Phoebe in the middle instead of allowing her to continue remaining as the youngest, the most reckless one. And Paige is also not just a new Phoebe. You know, they're different characters, so... You know, what, whatever you feel about Paige, it's at least not like they're, you know, just trying to stick us with a new of what we've already seen. You know, they took a chance, and I think that's at least worth noting. Personally, I'd have to say I probably do prefer Prue, but it is interesting, especially with the powers, that this one is, you know, half witch, half white lighter. We get the orbing along with the telekinesis, and the telekinesis is also slightly altered, you know. It's not, you know, grabbing something in midair and throwing it back. She, you know, orbs it to her hand and then uses it. The from the very beginning, the this season really, it takes off with a bang, you know. We have the source still, you know, hot on their trail. We have Shaq still, although he is relatively easily defeated. The... But yeah, the source goes very quickly, very directly after Paige on the advice of the Oracle. And in general, there's a lot of source action in this. They defeat him, they vanquish the source three times in the matter of not that many episodes. That's quite impressive. And we have the relationship between Phoebe and Cole. They really get into that Cole is, in fact, a former demon in the episode Black as Cole, where we meet someone who is very much like what Cole used to be as Balthasar, and we have the revelation that, you know, throughout much of the episode, you think that the, the woman seeking revenge is after the other demon, but it is, in fact, Balthasar that she is after. We have Cole losing his demonhood, and you know now what is what keeps the two from marrying. And then you know, of course, he becomes the source through the hollow, and and we have these great episodes where he manipulates the sisters where he gets actually gets Phoebe to join him as his queen of darkness the awesome character of the seer who has just fantastic really creepy accent i believe she's from jamaica and that's just how she talks but it really works you really it it it's unsettling you know and Finally, after all that, and we have, you know, the demonic offspring, you know, the source of all evil in Phoebe's womb, taking her over and then taking over the seer, that, hence the third vanquish of the source, and then we have the season finale. It's quite action-packed. A lot of 
stuff goes down and a lot of things are, you know, developed. All in all, I don't think it's as impressive as season finale as it could have been. Maybe because it's, you know, it's right after the one of the third. And... But anyway, The Angel of Destiny, it is an interesting enough you know, thing to have the offer of, you know, not being the Charmed Ones anymore. As we were watching it, my girlfriend pointed out, wait, does anybody else become the Charmed Ones? I guess the answer is in his line about, you know, a descendant of theirs will take over the Book of Shadows. But, you know, to have them given that choice, and then, you know, them realizing that in spite of it all, they do really enjoy their calling. They do, they love saving innocents. And the whole plot with the witch hunter, Bruce Campbell, who is just fun to watch in pretty much anything he's in, and the whole, you know, he actually has both you and the witches believing he is the FBI agent, and Selina is the witch hunter. And then we realize, you know, she's the daughter of a witch, I guess, hence no white lighter for her. And, you know, he's the witch hunter, and he really has the gravitas to carry off. You know, he really has you believing that he has killed tons of witches, you know, burned them at the stake, and he's going to do it with this one as well. And, of course, Cole, once again, transforming who he is, you know, he, he ends up at the Wasteland, he is ready to accept his fate after talking with Phoebe, you know, he's ready to move on, even though he's going to the other place, and then he accidentally gets a demonic power, and he remembers you know, what it was like to have powers to, you know, and he just can't quite give up on their love. And, you know, he gets more and more powers, he kills the beast, and he teleports away from the wasteland, saves Phoebe's life, and now we're left wondering, what will he do in the next season? You know, he is technically not a demon. He's no longer the source. He confirms that the source is from Vanquish. There's no reason for him to lie about that. And here we are. He has demonic powers, but he is human. You know, he shows quite clearly that he is now a human being. So, you know, and we end with the revelation just before the door is closed by the Angel of Destiny flying out that Piper is pregnant with Leo's child, and that sets up the next season very nicely. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.